Hello and welcome. My name is Amy and today I'm going to walk you through how to make your very own star jar TBR. This is simply a glass jar full of origami stars that have the titles of books on my to be read list written on them. To get started, we are going to need a few supplies, most of which you can probably find in your home. First, we'll need a standard sheet of letter-sized paper. Then we'll need a glass jar. I'm using an empty maple syrup jar. Then we'll need a ruler, some scissors, a writing utensil, and that's it. So to get started, you'll want to find yourself a flat surface to work on. Then we will take our piece of paper and turn it on its side, like this. Now take your ruler and measure out one centimeter from the edge of the page. You'll want to do this near the top and near the bottom of the page. Once you've marked your measurements, draw a line connecting your two dots. Then take your scissors and cut along the line you've just drawn. This strip of paper is going to be our base template for an origami star. Now we are going to take our strip of paper and hold it lengthwise like so. Take the top of the paper and bend it backwards and a little bit to the side. Then wrap it in front of and across the vertical stem. Now you should have a long tail, a short tail, and a loop. Now we are going to take our short tail and bend it backwards and put it through the loop, pulling gently. This should end up looking like a knot. Now we are going to have a long tail, a knot, and a short tail. So take that short tail and if it's a little bit long, fold it in on itself and then roll it into the pocket of the knot. Now turn your paper over so that the short tail in the pocket is facing away from you. Take the long tail and bend it up and over one of the edges of the pentagon. Continue to wrap the long tail snugly around your pentagon, making sure that the tail is always lining up perfectly with the edges it is wrapping around. Once you've run out of length to wrap around, tuck the remaining bit of paper into a pocket in the pentagon. Take your pentagon and hold it with two fingers along two of its flat edges. With your other hand, you'll want to pinch the middle of the other flat edges like so. Continue this process until you have pinched the middle of all five edges. And there you have it, an origami star. Making the perfect star can take some practice, so don't worry if you didn't get it right the first time. I'm now going to walk you through some of the common mistakes that can lead to a broken star. One common mistake is pulling your knot too tight. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here. So you start off properly by bending the top backwards and to the side. You wrap it across the front of the vertical stem and then back and through the loop. When you pull your knot tight, make sure that your paper is not folding and certainly don't pull hard enough for the paper to rip. Another common mistake is folding your knot. And what that looks like is we're going to start properly by 
bending the top of her paper backwards into the side, wrap it around the front and through the loop. And now you pull your knot tight and when you're done, you flatten your knot. This is not what you want to do. We don't want to flatten any part of our star. Along those same lines, another common mistake is folding instead of bending your paper. So again, we'll start off properly by bending the top back into the side, bring it around the vertical stem and back and through the loop. Make a proper knot and then tuck the small tail away in the little pocket in the pentagon. But then when you start to wrap the long tail around the pentagon, you may find it tempting to flatten your pentagon to keep everything in place. But trust me, this is also something you'll want to avoid. Or else you might end up with some strange jagged shape instead of a proper star. If your star didn't turn out the first time, I encourage you to rewatch this tutorial until you feel that you can create a pretty good star. Once you're fairly confident in your star making abilities, we can go ahead and put the TBR in Star Jar TBR. Okay, here's the fun part. Create a list of books or movies that you really want to read or watch. Since I have a massive list of books I want to read, I am going to use books as an example. So write one of those titles down on your one centimeter wide strip of paper, like so. And don't worry, I have actually read To Kill a Mockingbird, this is just an example. Hold your paper so that your writing is facing away from you, and then begin making your star. Fold the top of the paper back into the side, bring it in front of and across the vertical stem, like so. Bring the tail back and tuck it through the loop. Pull the knot and make it nice and snug. And then tuck your tail away into the pocket of the pentagon, folding it first if necessary. And then you'll want to flip it around so that the writing is facing you. And then take the long tail and bring it up and wrap it around the edge of the pentagon. Make sure the edge of your stem is lining up with the edges of the pentagon perfectly. And now wrap it nice and snugly without flattening your star. And once you get towards the end, you'll want to just tuck the end of the tail into a pocket in the pentagon. Again, folding it first if necessary to fit. And now that you have a perfect pentagon, you'll want to grip it by two of the flat edges and then proceed to crease all five of the flat edges with your other hand. And there you have a TBR star. Feel free to adjust the creases in the star if it looks a little wonky from different angles. Now just add your star to your glass jar and continue the process until your entire list has been written down on stars. Here I grant you a creative license to decorate your star jar TBR with whatever you have on hand. Have fun and thanks for watching.